Today on Karamo, who stole her money? It was a wild night for these three women. It was found in your bushes. We don't got no bushes. Y'all okay. definitely bushes. do. Y'all definitely do. We don't got no bushes. And we now Roro believes someone stole. Roro was very drunk. $384 from her. Took it without my knowledge. She thinks it could be her cousin. Y'all were like family. She thinks it could be her best friend. Like, how could you accuse me? Will there be a shocking confession? Did you take the money? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Plus, I don't know. It's a 25-year-old DNA mystery. This is the answer and the truth that you have been waiting for. Is John Caitlin's real father? He should not. Or not? <sighs> Welcome to the show, friends. And now, when it comes down to that mean green money, it sure can ruin a relationship and makes us behave in the craziest ways. And that's exactly what's going on with my guest, Roro. Roro says she's caught up in a fight with her cousin Tammy and her ex-friend Daisy over $384, y'all. Now, Roro wants to know who stole her money, and she asked me to step in and to get to the bottom of this family drama. Everyone, please help me welcome Roro to the show. Hey, Roro, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Good. Can I have a hug? Yes, absolutely. Nice to meet you, Roro. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me, what is going on? Who? Who stole your money, Roro? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, a couple of weeks ago, my cousin and I and La Daisy, we went out for my sister's 28th birthday. Uh -huh. We went bar hopping, bar to bar. We all had like at least 30 drinks apiece. 30 drinks? Every 30 drinks apiece. How are you still we standing here? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out now. Because I'm I like to a cocktail as much uh -uh. as the next person, but 30? That's, hey, we do that. Oh, That's I, things we do okay, on a regular. So, okay. But yeah, we bar hopping. We went to my cousin Tammy's house afterwards. Uh, we stayed there for probably like 30 minutes or whatever. As I'm leaving, LaDaisy dropped me off at home. I didn't wake up till next morning, the next day, till probably like 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I noticed my phone and my money was gone. So I contacted my cousin, Tammy. I'm, hey, cuz, you seen my phone? You know, yeah. I, and then there's some money missing at that. Mm -hmm. So she said, no, no. I checked my location on my, find my iPhone. It's pinging at her house. At Tammy's house. At Tammy's house. It's pinging wow. at Tammy's house. So I went to her house. We uh, got into a little phys uh, verbal altercation. We were called, and we called each other at least a million and one bitches. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I left, and as I was leaving out, I looked, the, I looked in the bushes, and there go my phone. Like, somebody tossed my in the bushes. Like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. I got to so, go back a little bit. Has that been the first time you and your cousin Tammy ever went back and forth verbally with each other? No. Okay. This is something new. We okay. were really close. Like, I was a bridesmaid in her wedding. So never I got any the, arguments before? Never. Got it. I was able to, got the honor of walking her daughter down the aisle, so uh -huh. this is... It was hard. Yeah. Because it sounds like she's more like a sister. She's like than a sister, a yes, yes. Okay. So you accused Tammy of stealing your money, but you just said it was, she's like a sister. So she's why like, would you just accuse her then? Because Tammy has a, she, she plays a lot. So I'm thinking she probably took it and playing with me, hid it or something. Because she do things like that. She'll take something from me, hide it. But then she'll give it back. But this time she was direct. I didn't take it. I don't have it. So I'm, what the hell? We, uh... Were you at the house that night? Were Tammy's house that night? Yes, I was there for about, like, 30 minutes. We went upstairs for, like, 30 minutes. I used the bathroom, and then, you know, you get somewhere, and then you get to talking, and then it's just, you know... So not to play devil's advocate, but I'm just doing math in my head. If you said y'all had 30 drinks... Like, at least 30 drinks, yes. And then yes. you stop at the house to use the restroom... Yes. Is there any way, possibly, you could have dropped your own phone No, delicious? no. I had no. my purse. I know what I had with me. You know what you had with I you. I know. Okay, then. So what's I your... left my purse on the couch, went to the bathroom. Okay, okay, okay. So, I know. I get it. No, listen, I'm not <laughs> questioning. You said you know your facts. I wasn't there. So, yeah. what is your relationship now with Tammy? We don't have a relationship at all oh. since I accused her. She's blocked me on social media, changed her phone number. Like, that sounds like a guilty person to me. Mm. Why does that behavior make it seem like she's guilty? Because if you know you didn't do it, why are you doing all this? Yeah. If you know you didn't steal from me, why are you doing all this? Now, you said she changed her number? Changed her number. Wow, that's an extreme. Because, like, we all know, like, to, to change your number nowadays and you got to hear everybody... To she told the family, don't give me her number. Wow. <laughs> How did that make you feel? 
it hurt my feelings because now it's really making me think that you stole from me. So if Tammy, in fact, stole your money, how would that make you feel? It would break my heart because I really love her like a sister. Her kids are like my niece and my nephews. Yeah. Are you still so, in communication with them? It's touchy. It's touchy. Yeah, because um, I, I see them because we, my grandmother's house, I take care of my grandmother and the kids come over there often. So that's the only chance, that's the only time I get to see them. Mm. And do they ever say, we wish that y'all would make I love up. you. I love you, Roro. I miss you yeah. when they are over there. So. Yeah. So why it's, wouldn't you just let it go and just try to make up? Because it's the principle. Mm-hmm. It's the principle of the whole situation. That's something I would never do to them. I would give them my last. So why take from me? I have eight kids. Mm. So you're taking from my kids. Yeah. Yeah. Which is even deeper. It's like, yeah. don't steal out of my mouth. Because wow. you're stealing from my kids yeah. when you do that. I get it, though. Well, listen, Roro's cousin Tammy is backstage listening. We'll hear what she has to say when we come back, so stay with us. <laughs> Who stole $384 from Roro? Roro was very drunk. She thinks it could be her cousin. Y'all were like family. She thinks it could be her best friend. Like, how could you accuse me? Will there be a shocking confession? Did you take the money? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. We went out for my sister's birthday. We all had like at least 30 drinks a piece. 30 drinks? Every 30 drinks a piece. I noticed my phone and my money was gone. I checked my location. It's pinging at her house. Now it's really making me think that you stole from me. Listen, everyone, after a drunken night out with her cousin Tammy and ex-friend Daisy, Roro says her money went missing. $384. Tammy's here to let us hear her side of the story. Everyone, please welcome Tammy to the show. Where's my money? Come on, now. You and Daisy know something. Let me know. She just, Tell me something. She, she just went. She just went too far. Like, she's very extra. Yeah. Mm. I blocked her because, why, I mean, this is not the first time me and Roro they had words or anything like that. Let me know and something. When? Her. When have we ever her. had words besides this? Her. When have I we ever had her. words besides this? I didn't call so y'all have had fights before? Not fights. We, we don't really get Ver physical. We don't really get physical, but Roro is an aggressive person. Ooh, ooh. She a little I'm ball, aggressive, a little yes, ball yes, of yes. negative yes. energy. She's and if I'm ball. aggressive, that's because y'all make me. Roro is a liar. So she's accusing well, you of stealing. Question? How did that make you feel? Because y'all were, she, from her perspective, y'all were like family. I mean, like sisters. She accused me of stealing, and I didn't feel no type of way because, like, it, we, the night of, it was, our, so it was her sister's birthday, and we was out drinking and partying and all that stuff. So I'm thinking, like, Roar and had her one of them little moments. You know, you don't woke up and all that other stuff. So I'm waiting for her My to come into it. pinged at your location, I'm your waiting, house, your address. I'm waiting for her to come through it. You know, I think we should have a one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't feel no type of way about it because we was drinking. I say she going to... Come on into and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. She didn't come back to reality. She really thought I stole it. If I, I show her, she had I lost her. I thought you stole it because. She had left her iPod, AirPods in an Uber or something like that. And no. one of them had fell in the no. street and ran over. So she was looking for her AirPods. I, and I showed her to read. I had a fan of stuff on the phone. I said, connect everything on your phone. This is how you get it. She got two phones. What, are, what I'm selling your for, Roro. Come on now, we, uh, we together all the time. So you're like, I'm, I'm the one who's showing you how to I'm, find I'm, it. Why would, you I why would I steal it when... Why would I steal your money and then you, you know where it's gonna be? Well, she said earlier stole. that you blocked her, so why would you block her then? She messy. Because she's messy. <laughs> she would've came to the group chat if she accused me and Daisy. It was me, Daisy, Roro, and Daisy cousin. I didn't she go accused. to that group chat because there she was accused. way more people in that group she chat. She accused... No, it wasn't. It's just, it's just me, you, and Daisy. But... We, okay, but anywho... I didn't feel like I need to go to a group chat for that. I came to y'all one-on-one. She didn't come to them one-on-one. -on -one. I blocked her. Her and Daisy was together on Facebook the next day. What do you remember about that night? Because I want to get back to that. So she's saying that y'all were fine, y'all had some drinks, y'all went upstairs, she came back, she, and then her stuff was missing, basically. Okay, we, we get to the... The birthday girl was late. Roro ordered a round of drinks. Birthday girl get the... She ordered this big-ass... This big ass little shoot, I don't know what you call it, but it, it's a little thing. It come with a dispenser, you pull alcohol out of it. She, nah, y'all gonna drink, y'all gonna drink. Everybody just getting lit. We go from one place drinking and they go to another place. I'm over there trying to get my together. I'm like this, my head. I can barely keep my okay. head up. I'm over there like this. I'm like, no, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> they get, 
they bringing them shots. <laughs> they ordering so much liquor. Yeah. So I'm over there like this. Like, you know, they, they gone. Like, I'm over here trying to gather myself. Are you sure you had your purse with you? Mm. Then she I found her phone. Her phone was I left found. It Did she tell y'all that? Yes. Yeah, she she... Was it found at my house? It was found in your bushes. Go, video. Your bushes by the house. I wish I would have took a picture. Oh, got no bushes. She <laughs> that at my mama's house in the bushes. At my mama's house. Not at your house. Uh, no, no, you have you. She lying. I found it at your house she in the bushes. It. No, you did not. Yes, I did. No, you did not. Yes, I did. No, you, we don't got no bushes. Y'all okay. no definitely do. Y'all definitely. We don't got no bushes. We don't got no bushes. It's coming together, <laughs> and she don't want. She don't. What's going on? Is she don't want. She don't want the truth to come out. What she. I said, we'll leave it alone for an apology. Cause if you. Why would you try to apologize? Like, why would you try to smooth it over and all this other stuff? Like, I'm not after gonna the fact of me blocking her and all that stuff, like, let's right get together about. and do this. Let's get together and do that. And I'm, I'm like, no, I'm cool on y'all. That I, felt I was right about. So she, okay, but so why would she you still try to, to kick it with me? She, so you were still trying to hang with her, even though yeah, you told me? Yeah, that's why I blocked the numbers. No. Before you walked out, she said that you were upset with your husband. As I'm back in the green room, he said his little smart ass comment. Like, say what you gotta say. Okay. Let me know. Let me know what's up. Um, well, listen, Tammy Hudson is here in the audience. His name is Nick. <laughs> Nick, let's um, please welcome to the show. So, Nick, we hear this right now. Um, Roro said that she heard you saying something about her backstage. I, I didn't say anything about Roro. Cut post of liar. I was just oh. stating that my wife don't have to steal you said anything a slick from comment. her. You said a slick comment, like I said. You said my a slick comment. My wife doesn't have to steal Sit anything your ass from down. her. You about this. You weren't even there that night. And sit down. You weren't even there that night. Accuse my wife have several of stealing seats anything. Back. Have several seats back. You weren't even there that night. And then on top of that, she has a drinking problem. <laughs> Clearly, she has a drinking problem. Why, why she, do you think she has a drinking problem? Can't. I mean, I heard Who's about the 30 shots. Right? So uh, is that a constant, that type of night? All right. We went out as couples one night, and she tried to attack me. She's mm. aggressive. She's yeah. aggressive. I'm not even playing. Do you feel like she has a problem with drinking as well? I think she got a problem with aggression. Mm. She be, Roro mm -hmm. be trying to throw blows. Is like, that for true, real. Roro? Do you always no, try to throw? Not, no, I'm a friendly person when I drink. Okay. <laughs> she can't even say I'm a straight face. Her Rose. nickname yeah. is Rose. Rose. So, you, so you, you don't like the fact that she's accusing your wife? I, I don't. What about the fact that their relationship is broken? They used to be so close, so it hurt to see that they getting into it with each other. Yeah. But for her to accuse someone of stealing from her and don't know who stole it or if she even lost it or not. Of course. Is inappropriate. Got it. Thank you for thank you, Nick, for sharing. Tammy, so I didn't ask you this when you came out, but I'm asking you directly right now. Did you steal Roro's money? Yep. No. No. That's okay. on the Bible. Why do you think that Daisy could have stole your money? La Daisy said, I was too drunk, quote unquote, to get out the car and go to the gas station to get some items that I wanted. So I gave her my debit card to go get them for me. Okay. I don't remember like that, and I don't give people my debit card. Okay, then. Everyone, please welcome Daisy to the show. Let's get her side of the floor. Hey, okay, so Daisy, what do you know about that night when the money went missing? What I remember was Roro was very drunk. I went to the gas station. She gave me her card with her PIN number. I went in there, retrieved her items, and I brought them back to the car, and we left. That was it. That okay. was it. She also saying now that the cash went missing. Do you remember any of that? No. Okay. And how has this affected your relationship? Like, so are y'all talking at all? No, not really. Is this your first time really. seeing each other? No. And what was your reaction when she accused you? I was hurt. Yeah. I was hurt. I was upset. Like, how could you accuse me? I'm when not did she accuse you? I ever gave you my debit card you? and asked you to go in the store when did she accuse to you? get anything? Well, did she Tuesday. accuse you the next morning? The next morning. I didn't accuse you She don't you remember until... because she was drunk. So she, you, we you were know, all a drunk, drunk person again, can't remember But anything. I didn't accuse you until you no, said so that you had my debit drunk. card, that I gave you the debit card. She thinks it could be her cousin. She do! She thinks it could be her best friend. I'm her best friend. We are like family. Will there be a shocking confession? Did you take the money? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Did you steal Roro's money? No. Why do you think that Daisy could have stole your money? I was too drunk to get out the car, so I gave her my debit card. What I remember was Roro was very drunk. I didn't accuse you until you no, said so that you had my debit card, drunk. that I gave you the debit card. And do y'all do feel like that this is a problem? Yes. With her drinking? Yes. You it's do? excessive drinking. She blacks out, she's, she's, she gets really aggressive. 
You know, she wants to fight, <laughs> argue. You know, it was a time that we all, we went on an outing and she tried to fight the lady that tried to let her in the entrance. All the tickets, still there. We got rain checks and everything. Roro, we had to come back when Roro was sober enough. Cause Correct. Roro was just a, she, when I turn around, she y'all, this, that, and the other, those are blah, blah, all blah. the tickets right there. Yes, yes. We, Over a hundred people there, embarrassing. Because she had to babysit her. I'm hearing a consistent, consistent thing that when you drink, you get aggressive. <laughs> Bro, that when no. you drink, you come out of pocket in your she mouth. She think it's yes. funny, it's not. It, it's not, she, she it's needs not. help. Is this, from your perspective, because you're laughing it off, mm. what do you think? You don't think you have a problem with no, your attitude? No, I don't, I know I don't. Why do you say you know you don't? She does, she needs help. I know help. I don't have a drinking she problem. She needs help. You she need do help. too, I ain't even gonna laugh. You need this Daisy too. be right there. Oh. Well, <laughs> Mine's is... Daisy be right there. I love them. I love them. I love them. But she do too. I'm alcoholic. She said both of y'all. No, she do. We were together all the time. That's... Wow. I'm not all the time, but... I love Daisy. No. I get it. You love both. You're just speaking the truth. She do. You're just speaking your truth. They can drink... They can drink an old man under the table. Both of them together. No, I just want to know where my Tammy, money is. That's yeah. all. We still that's, talk. That's it. That's all. Well, listen, my I think it's time. And I, wanna know where it's at. I think it's time to take it to the comments because I want to know what y'all got to say about that. <laughs> so, my question's for Rowo. Would you consider stop drinking for your friends? Absolutely, but I don't feel I drink like that. So. Would you consider stop drinking for yourself? It's not a problem. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> yes. It's a clear yes? It's a clear yes. Okay, great. Just want to know. Thank you. Anybody else have a question? I have a question for Daisy. You seem a little bit shady. Like, I can spy the way, like, your body language is. Um, because money just doesn't disappear like thank that. You. Especially if you had her wallet, so. Okay, so thank you for that. So it seems like she's saying that it feels wow. like you had her wallet. That you went to the, into the store with her pin card. Well, Roro is a grown ass woman. She needs to hold her own accountability of her wallet, her money, woman. her phone. Like she I loses said, everything. But like I so said, I know damn well I didn't give you my bank understand. card or nothing like that. You lied. You lied. I was in the car with a bank card whole situation. You I don't invalid. know about that. So you don't know about the bank card situation. I don't know about that. This is my okay. first name. You're invalid. I don't know about the cash. So I think that I, I don't know if you will ever know the answer to any of this because you were all drunk. So I just think that you should give each other the benefit of the doubt and keep having the friendship that you have because it's more than it worth three hundred and eighty dollars. It's the principle. It's the principle. It's the principle. They know that's something I would never do to them. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And there's at some point where the principle is no longer the thing that's going to keep you away from your family. At what point do you say my family and my best friend is more important than three hundred eighty-five dollars? Be honest. Hmm. Just be honest. Be honest. You're convicted that somebody needs to be honest. Be honest. Okay. Well, let's get back over to the ladies right now and talk about this some more. <laughs> Daisy, I want to start with you. How do you feel about the audience calling you shady? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I don't even know what to say. Yeah. I mean, all of this is just hurt, like, you know, but I'm, I'm a good friend. Like, I'm her best friend. Like, we've been best friends for seven years, seven long years. We are like family. Yeah. And for us to be going through this is, is really heartbreaking. I can yeah. see this, this relationship being torn. And it it really need, there needs to be some healing. And it's sad that this money and drinking is causing the healing not to happen. I will say this, though, and I was deciding whether I was going to bring this up or not. But as I was walking here to come to stage, I was walking past your green room. Mm -hmm. And I heard you talking to my producer and telling her that Roro owes you money. Yes. Where I owe you money from? Yes. She owes that you is money. true, yes. Where I've learned her money on several occasions, and she's never paid me back. And I've loaned you money on never several, paid me back. many of occasions. She gives me every excuse in the book of why she can't pay me my money back. And I've given you money on several occasions. So, Hundreds, I, I just gave you $900 to catch a same-day flight two months ago. Daisy, I'm gonna ask you the same question that I asked Tammy earlier. Okay. Did you take the money? Who stole $384 from Roro? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. A shocking confession will come out next. You are the cop. You're up on stage.
I've well, learned I mean, her money on several occasions, and she's never paid me back. Daisy, I'm asking you the same question that I asked Tammy earlier. Okay. Did you take the money? I knew this bitch did. <laughs> You I knew she did, but you accused me. What did you say? I, I am I, not a thief, Karama. I am not a thief. Okay. Like I said, I've loaned her money several so, cages, and, you money and she's on not so paid me back. That let you me, never me, paid back. She's so not so paid me back. So where's the $900 you swear to give back to me let when me you got out, home to California? Let me take out the language of thief then. Yes. I'm going to take out the language of steal. It's cold. Since you all share your money in essence, Yes. did you share money that she had in her purse that night. Yes. <laughs> James, you petty as hell, bro. The bitch. You I did. Petty bitch. As hell, you I, just, I'm I done did. with you. I'm done with you. And, I'm done. And, and you, that's why I came you here. Can't, you can't ask that's me for a dime. I'm here. You can't ask me for a dime. That's why I'm here. You can't ask to me for a dime. my relationship with her. Ain't no mending. So, so, no mending. What is there to mend? With all of us. What is there to mend? To say that I, I love you still. Mm. We're like. Yeah. And I don't want money to become Can between I, um, that, that friendship. I, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I just want us to Maybe. mend our relationship. Bitch, and I want us to be ain't friends. No, ain't no <laughs> I want us to be what better is, friends. What is there I, want us, I want us to leave here. No. I want us to can leave I, here and go I, back home go, and do the things that we used to do. I want, I want, I want, as a I want, family. I want y'all to be able to talk. Yes. Do you think this friendship can be mended? Hell no. But this, this is my it's question. If y'all were giving each other money anyway. No, but that's stealing because she's she took it without my knowledge. Why did you take it? Because I have she been asking her to knowledge. pay me back the money that I loaned her, and she didn't give it to me. So when I is just, the last time you I loaned me myself. anything? I just took when it I back. just gave you that money for that flight. How much that was you it? didn't that you didn't even pay back. How much did you, you said, oh, oh so as soon you? as I get home, I promise you, I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to send you the money. This was two months ago. So when? So when? So when since then? So when since then? All I can say is it's no excuse for what I've done. <laughs> She's so, ignorant as so hell, bro. It's no excuse for what I've done. And they just laugh. Like, it's funny. So, you it's know, you're taking this money has ended a relationship with your friend. It ended a relationship with this family member. I mean, you, your accountability is, yes, I understand. I switched the language to have you yes. make you feel comfortable in, in admitting. She a thief. But do you feel like you owe her a bigger apology? I do. Tammy, I want to say that I'm, I'm sorry to you. I, sh I should have took accountability of what I did instead of, of letting her accuse you. I should have just stepped up and been a woman and said, you know what? I did it. Because you got to apologize to me. And, and I love you. I love you I too. Love, I love the kids still. You and love her, but she, you, you, you can take and accept this apology and from a bitch. Ro -ro I just nothing. Say that yeah. I'm Don't touch me. Very I want to say I'm truly sorry from the bottom of my heart. Ro you. I ain't got to say to you. Oh, okay. You yeah, I hear. I uh, listen. I, I will I understand. I do time. understand. I Ro -ro. I way. do what understand. Do I do understand why you feel this way because I do understand for you it's about the principle. You wanted your friend to be honest with you, and I think if they would have been honest with you, you'd have got mad that day and have been over it by now. The thing that I will say to this is that we have to understand. First of all, you can't let money ruin relationships because at this point right now, you all have admitted that money comes and go between y'all as easy as it is. You had a bar giving out shots, buying these things. I get it. I do understand that taking your money is another step. I do get that. I do think that maybe new boundaries will have to be set, but I don't think that the relationship has to be finished. What I do believe is that you have to, first of all, do a better job of taking accountability on your end for what you just did here with your cousin. Also, I do believe that you two need to spend some time of thinking about how much you're drinking and how that's affecting your behavior and your attitudes. I'm not gonna call you an alcoholic. I'm not gonna say you have a problem with drinking because I don't know that. I can't get a clear gauge on how often you're drinking. But what I will say is that I do see certain body movements because I read body language and you do a lot of this, you do a lot of this, and you do a lot of this. She be and trying all to of those, hold herself back from hitting somebody. All of She's those sick. are the body language of somebody who is saying like, you still doing it right now. You about to, you about to get me. 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 And all I'm saying to you is that I believe that you are full of love and I believe that you're a supportive person for your friends and your family. The fact of the matter is they all want to go out with you because there's a lot of love and light in you. But I think that what happens is something's going on in yourself where you start to dim that light when you have this aggression come out. And you'll need to dim that light. And I don't want you to continue on where people start to feel like they got to disconnect from you because they feel like you're going to be aggressive with them because I can see that about to happen. This one right here is super level-headed. The fact that she's already kind of <laughs> saying, I'm gonna step away, 
I don't want anybody else in your life to do that. Can you receive that a little bit? Mm. Like, let them all just see the love and the supportive person and, like, let them know if you feel in some way, if there's something else that's bothering you that's coming out when you drink it, talk to them, be vulnerable with them. Let them know. Can you? Please? Mm. Please? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Y'all got some time. Y'all got... She need yeah. a little counseling, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Daisy, I don't... I've, it is a lot for me to process on, like, what your decision-making was. The only thing for me right now I, I can see is that you were in a space of drinking and you were being... It's petty, but the thing is, is that you have to understand now that you've broken the trust. And yeah. so as you move forward, every single one of these people have the right to not trust you for a while until you show them the actions that they can trust you again. And I'm willing to do that. Good. All right. Well, listen, I appreciate y'all being here. And I'm glad that you have answers today. And I'm glad that you've been vindicated. I'm glad that you could be honest. So thank you so much. Stay with us, friends. We'll be right back with more. Next. I don't know. It's a 25-year-old DNA mystery. This is the answer and the truth that you've been waiting for. Is John Caitlin's real father? He should not. Or not? <laughs> John is here to find out the DNA truth about his 25-year-old daughter. Take a look at this. John was in a love triangle that ended up breaking his heart. Caitlin was his firstborn daughter. He was so excited to go to the hospital and to hold her and love her. And by the time he got there, the birth certificate said unknown. And it broke his heart. And she took that away from him. She's a liar and she's sneaky. I've been with John for 18 years. He has been a wonderful father. And what I'm sick and tired of is her calling him a deadbeat dad. He is a great father. The older Caitlin is getting, the more she's looking like the other man's children. John set Caitlin down and he had told her that he wasn't sure that he was her natural father. And it really hurt him bad to say that to her. And it confused her. This is all a result from Caitlin's mother. She was too scared to show up today, so I don't know what that means. She thinks she can get away with anything, but not today. We're gonna find out the truth. Everyone, welcome John to the show. How are you doing, John? All right, how are you? Good, thanks for being here. Thank you. So I have to know immediately, what happened the night that Caitlin was born? I got a call from, at work saying that she was on her way to the hospital. And I got there about an hour, hour and a half later. And I seen my baby. She's as beautiful as I expected to be. <laughs> and uh, I asked about the birth certificate, could I sign the birth certificate? And my ex said that uh, they already did the paperwork on the birth certificate and then she put down there unknown. So why weren't you given the opportunity, since you were there, to sign it? Um, they said the people had already gone. Still to this day, I never, never knew. Yeah. Did you all have any arguments? Was there something wrong in your relationship at that time? No, there was nothing wrong. So how was your relationship with her mother during that time? Oh, it was good. It was good. How long were you all together? Um, the first time was about three, three months. And the last time was about, probably about six months. And what was breaking you all up during those times? that we kept going back and forth. She yeah. kept going back to her husband. Then I, I, we we get back together. After she get back with her husband, she'd call me, want to see me. i go see her, and we end up being together again for another, for a Got while. It. That was that love triangle. Yeah, she couldn't make a decision. Right. So, um, so she was married at the time then? Yeah, she already had two other kids wow. with him. Yeah. So are you still in contact with Caitlin's mother today? Yes. Yes. And how's that relationship today? We're friends. You're friends? Yeah. And what does she feel about the fact that right now you're still confused of if this could be your daughter? I don't think she likes it. The, the, I really want to know. Yeah. I want to know if she's really my child. It doesn't matter because I still love her no matter what. That's beautiful. So I hear you say I love her. Does that mean that you helped raise Caitlin? Yes. Tell me about raising her. Oh, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> the best times. I see her go through a lot. Yeah. I went through a lot. Yeah. I don't want to just, I want to be there with her all the time. So why, after all this time, do you want to know now? Since you've been there, you went through stuff together, why know this now? Because it's bothered me for 25 years. Wow. I wanted to know if she was actually my blood child or if she was someone else's child. Yeah. 
How did telling Caitlin that you wanted this DNA test go? I told her I, I love her no matter what. If it doesn't go the way we want it, that's okay too. So what was her reaction when you told her that you had these doubts? She didn't really care to hear that. Yeah. She, she just thought, I don't believe that. I believe you're my dad. You've been there for me all these years. Does she know about the birth certificate? Has she ever seen it? Yes. That it says unknown? Yes. Does she ever question her mother herself? Because if I was a kid, I'd be like, Mom, why are you doing this? Like, the man is right here. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? I don't know why she didn't pester her mom more about it to find out more stories and stuff. I don't know. So why does your wife think that this is not yours? Because she's involved in this situation, too. Because uh, uh, her siblings, the other two children, Caitlin looks just like them and the Got mother. It. So it's because they look all alike over there. It's like the right. doubt. There's but even though you've been there, she's still like, that doesn't play into your wife's heart at all, that maybe she could be yours? She just convinced because of the looks that it's Yeah, not she's that. just the looks. That, mm. That's not mine. She has some of my attitude. Like, she has no patience sometimes. <laughs> She's like her dad. I don't have no patience. Yeah, well, you can be my father, too, in that case, okay? <laughs> <laughs> my patience is love. Okay, I get that. So do you think you look like your daughter? Not really. She don't have my eyes. Yeah. And do you have a good relationship with her? Oh, yes. Yeah. What are the type of things you do together? Um, we rode mini bikes and crashed before. <laughs> <laughs> she liked to play the pinball. Okay. And play pool. Okay. I didn't have much money to do anything, so I did the best things I could do with her. Yeah, I appreciate that. You said that you two have been through some things. You said she's seen some things and been through some things, and you as well. What did you mean by that? Her mother left me, went back to her husband. That really hurt me a lot. She kept calling me and telling me this is my child, but I didn't know if it was or not. And so not only are you being played with, but now this information about your potential child is also hurting you. Yes, it is. Yeah, Very much. So sorry about that. Well, listen, everyone, let's welcome Caitlin to the show. <laughs> Caitlin, you look so pretty. Thank you. Yeah, you look great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. So, Caitlin, when did your father tell you that he, you might not be his daughter? Right before COVID, 2019, 2018, right between those years, he told me I was his daughter over the phone. I was sitting in my bedroom, and I was watching a movie at the time, a horror movie, believe it or not. <laughs> but he told me I, I might not be his daughter. At that time, I was hurt, but I knew that blood or not, I was still his daughter. John's wife will come out next. You know, it's been aching at him for years. Is John Caitlin's real father? He should not. Or not. <sighs> you are the father. Get off my stage. I asked about the birth certificate because my ex said that she put down there unknown. I don't think she likes it. I, I really want to know. He told me I, I might not be his daughter, but I knew that blood or not, I was still his daughter. You said you're watching a horror movie and then you get this horrible call in an essence. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> That's a little bit kind of coincidence, I got to say. Yeah, yeah. So how did it make you feel, though? Like... I, it made me hurt that I may not be his daughter. Mm -hmm. Yes, my mom has a little bit of a troubled past, but she's still my mom. Yeah. I love her. Do you have a good relationship with your mother? Oh, yes. Yeah. I love my mom. Did you ever question to her why did you put unknown on the birth certificate? I kept asking her questions, and I been having doubts. She, she never told me those straight answers. So she would just sort of ignore, the, ignore your inquiries? Ignore, n ignore them, yes. And she did that with you as well? Yes. So how often, when you were kids, did you see... Um, your father? Uh, about four, uh, five times a year. Was it a good relationship when you did see each other? It was, yes. He took me to flying kites, took me fishing. John's wife, Diane, is involved in this situation. What does your mother say about her? She can tolerate her. The relationship Ooh, between... That's a strong word, tolerate. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is a kind woman, but at the same time, she does have doubts of what happened back then. What's your relationship with, like, Diane? 
I love her. She's been there for him. And no matter what, she loves him and she loves me. She loves him. Yeah, she loves you. That's good to know. So what did your mom say when she found out that John wants to do um, the DNA test? She says I'm his daughter. So is she confirming that she, because she had all these doubts all this time, and now when she gets confronted by you, she says he was the father? She still has faith. John is my dad. What's your father's relationship with, like, with your mother from your perspective? They don't get along. If they argue, I will go in my room and cry. It hits you. I get it. It hurts. Caitlin, how are you feeling about getting this truth today, though? Because there's I'm a possibility today that you could find out that this man is not your father. Are you prepared for that? I am 98 points sure that he's my father. Okay. So how would it make you feel if it came back that he wasn't your father? If he wasn't my father, I would break down, yes, but I would know that he's been there for me. Maybe not financially, but he's been a loving, kind father. How does it make you feel that she talks so highly of you? This has to feel good. It makes me feel happy. <laughs> even, though I got, good. even though I got tears coming and emotions coming out, <laughs> yeah. it makes me feel really good that she loves me as yeah. much as I love her. Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, listen, everyone, let's welcome Diane to the show as well. Hi, Diane. Hi. How are you doing? Nice, nice to, meet, nice to you. meet you. Yes. Hi. So, Diane, I got to ask you first off, what do you think about Caitlin's mother? Because she's the reason we're all here today. Uh, I think Caitlin's mother should have been here for this very important day. Yeah. But she's not, and we're here together today as a family. I love that. To do so how long have you and John been together? 18 years. 18. Good job. So has it been hard for Aww. you to go through this and see... John going through this? And yeah, because he's, you know, he's brought it up. You know, it's been aching at him for years, yeah. you know, and he had to speak to her, and mm -hmm. that was the most hurtful thing a father could say to a daughter. Yeah. Do you think it's, it was right for him to tell her? Yes, I did encourage him. Good. Why? I did encourage him because he should not. Yeah. And so should she. Have you ever talked to Caitlin's mother about that? I've never confronted her about it. So do you think that her mom did that because she was still married? I don't know if she didn't. Maybe she didn't know. Yeah. Caitlin, do you think that's why your mother did it? Because she was married? Those were her reasons, and those were your reasons alone. I can't stand for those. Yeah. But I do know that she loves me. If she was married back then, she was married back then. I can't change that. Of course. Are you ready for the outcome of this DNA test? Yes. 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 All right, so I asked before, Caitlin, how do you feel, would you feel if this came back? No, you said you'd be hurt. I'm nervous. Yeah, you're nervous? Very. And for you, John, what about you? How would you feel if this came back, that this is not your daughter? I'm still going to feel the same for her, no matter what. Yeah. She's my child. I just want to know deep down inside, you know, if I was really right for all these years or if I was wrong. Yeah, makes sense. Clarity. Well, in this envelope is a DNA outcome that says if Caitlin is your daughter or not. This is the answer and the truth that you have been waiting for, right here. I think that since you are the one that was in that hospital room and saw unknown father, I think this is for you to open. Thank you. Yes. Oh is John Caitlin's real father or not? <sighs> Find out next. So what did your mom say when she found out that John wanted the DNA test? She says I'm his daughter. He's been there for me. In this envelope is a DNA outcome. Thank you. Yes. Oh, God. <sighs> what? John, you, Caitlin, is your daughter. What? <laughs> oh! What's yes. going through your mind, both of you? What's going through your mind? Excitement. <laughs> yeah. Now we can celebrate. Go home and celebrate. Yeah. In this celebration, I'm very happy that you all have answers. 
but I cannot have you leave without saying one thing does need to happen. I think that, especially for you and you, there needs to be a moment when you sit down with your mother and she needs to take accountability for her actions. My mom has never been a bad person. Agreed. She has, She has a heart that she could wear on her sleeve. The actions she made back then doesn't make her the person she is now. I agree. What I'm looking at is the joy that was two minutes ago, fear. And that fear was set off by an action that she did by writing Unknown Father. And so you have to take accountability for that because that caused years of pain. I know you two were in your entanglement. You were, you know, in this sort of situation. Triangle. Yeah, the triangle. But at the end of the day, no matter if you two were supposed to be together, she should have never put doubts in your mind about this little girl. Right. Because luckily, you were the man that still tried to be there, still tried to do things. But there's other guys that would have said, oh, you're putting doubt in my head? I'm going to go. And then that would have left this little girl with no father, without any doubts. Well, listen, I'm so happy for you all. This is a really a good time to celebrate. Yeah, Thank you very much. You're Thanks. welcome. Thank you, Yeah, you're welcome all so right. much. Yeah. Thank you for being with us. Come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all.